What's up guys, it's Slav from We Are Tottenham TV. I'm here today to answer a few of your questions ahead of this weekend's game between Crystal Palace and Tottenham Hotspur at Selhurst Park, the season ending game for the 2019-20 mad season, I guess we'll call it. There's been ups and downs, I think I think that's the case with every club. We came back into it sort of confident that the break that the players had had would sort of give us a chance to bring the injured players back, the likes of Harry Kane, Musa Sissoko, Hung Min Son, who had all been out for a while before. We sort of came into the game uh, against Manchester United full of confidence, thinking we could re if we could get a win here, we really could finish in the top four and get a Champions League spot. We played well in that first half, and then the second half we sort of retreated to a more defensive, low block uh, Jose Mourinho side. Uh, and, and after that, again, it wasn't great. We, we beat West Ham and Everton, but we dropped points against Bournemouth and then we had an absolute horror show uh, at Bramall Lane against Sheffield United where we were borderline appalling. The defending wasn't great and we had obviously that, me that mental VAR decision that didn't go our way. More recently, we've looked really good. Obviously, we've won three in the bounce. We've, be we've beaten Leicester rather comfortably. We've beaten Newcastle uh, rather comfortably. And of course, we won the North London derby, which is obviously a massive result for us and for all Tottenham fans. We're going to finish above Arsenal again for the fourth year in a row. And uh, if you asked us before the restart, would we be happy with that? Uh, I think we would have preferred a top four finish as well. Um, well, definitely prefer the top four finish. So all in all, I think it's been really positive and I think the, the, the stepping stones and the building blocks are there to really progress next season under Jose Mourinho. I think we will make it into Europe, to be honest. I think we will finish at least seventh uh, and I do think we'll finish sixth. So I'm not sure because I think it depends on the Wolves and the, the Wolves-Chelsea game. However, if you look at it, if we didn't get into Europe, I guess you could look at the positive side and say where Leicester won the league, they had no European football. When Chelsea won the league, they had no European football. So it has, it swings around about. So it has its positives, there's negatives. Uh, I think money-wise, if we didn't get into Europe, it would be a major disappointment. We, it, it might affect our transfer plans even more. Maybe we won't have the transfer uh, money to bring in the players that Jose wants to bring in so that's why it's important um, and also Jose's won the Europa League every time he's been in it with Porto and Manchester United so I back him really to come to come next season to, to be here next season and win this trophy for Spurs it's something that's really possible I feel like the Europa League doesn't really get too difficult until you're you're into the quarterfinals or the knockout stages uh, so it's definitely a, a competition Tottenham can look to progress in next year so if we don't get into Europe it would actually be quite disappointing because Although the Europa League isn't the glamour competition and it's not the Champions League, there's money to be had in it. It's a trophy at the end of the day and it's quite, and it's, a, it's another way into the Champions League. Of course, the winners go into the, the following season's um, Champions League competition. So it's definitely, um, definitely disappointing if we don't get Europe. However, I do think come the end of the season after this weekend, we will be in the Europa League next year. <laughs> For me personally, I'm loving Jose Mourinho at the club. He's changed everything um, mentality-wise, or he's slowly starting to change everything mentality-wise. Uh, we've seen some of the old frailties come out here and there, which he's still trying to iron out, but I'm, I'm very confident in Jose taking us forward. We've looked much, much better defensively. Sometimes we don't even look like conceding a goal. We we look good on the counter-attack. The players look like they want to play for him. The players want to want to win things under him. He said that he comes out all the time saying he's gonna, he wants to win things here. This club is going to win things under Jose Mourinho. So I'm very confident. With Pochettino, of course, it was, very, it was a very, very sad day to see one of our greatest managers depart. He, he's really Really turned this club around. Before him, we were a, a mid-table to sit or a sixth, seventh-place club. Uh, they had just been in the Europa League. We'd been in the Champions League once, and under under Poch, we we he's changed everything. Um, he took us into the Champions League. He took us to a Champions League final. And in my lifetime, I never thought I'd see Tottenham Hotspur in the Champions League final. Uh, okay, we didn't win it, but I still got to see my um, my club in a Champions League final, which is something I'll never forget. However, he, I think he did lose the dressing room. It did get stale. It needed freshening up around the, around the training ground. I heard from different people who actually worked at the training ground um, that the, the atmosphere had just completely changed and completely dropped. And, and Jose sort of turned that around. You've seen players come out um, of this, on the, in the Spurs camp and say how happy they are with Jose, uh, how much they want to play for him and how he's such a winner. He comes out in his press conferences and says things that we want, we as Spurs fans, we want to hear. So he's motivating the players by telling them one more win and we win the Europa League. It's not that we're in it, that we win it. And that's the mentality that we need in this club. Every time it really matters for Spurs, they, they they always, always let you, they'll always let you down. We've seen it countless times under Poch and over the years that 
when we needed a win to maybe take us top of the league, to take us into the top four, to take us into an FA Cup final, whatever it might be, we've, we've fallen up that last hurdle. This is what we sort of needed with Jose, someone to push us beyond that last hurdle and really sort of make Tottenham a, a place full of trophies, full of success, and that's something we haven't, we just haven't had recently. So for me, I'm very confident in Jose, and I think the style of football, albeit it's not the most glamorous as it was under Poch, I had five years of Pochettino, we all had five years of Pochettino football, which was great to watch, but we have nothing to show for it. So to be honest, if we win trophies now by winning games 1-0, 2-0, whatever it might be, I'll bite your hand off if it means we can have a couple of trophies. Um, we saw in the last couple of games, we've looked really good. We looked lethal on the counter attack with Son, Kane, Lucas, Bergwijn, Lo Celso, um, and potentially some more players to come in the summer. We could be really, really good on the counter, and he's really sorted us out at the back. And with a couple of defenders in and a defensive midfielder, we could really challenge next year. So I'm very, very confident um, in Jose and the Jose Mourinho as Tottenham. Normally, uh, Crystal Palace, especially away from home, it's a very tough game. Everyone knows going to Selhurst Park is never easy, no matter what the circumstances. The fans there are amazing. I love going down to Selhurst myself. The atmosphere is always great. The fans are passionate down there. Um, so it's a great away day. And unfortunately, obviously, we won't, none of us will be able to be there on Sunday, which sort of makes me a little bit more confident. Obviously, you're in a bad run of form. Um, seven straight defeats. You haven't scored a goal against us since, I think, 2016 um, in the league. I think it's 11 and a half hours of football without a goal against us in the league. Stats aside, and that aside, uh, I am actually quite confident going into this game simply because there's no fans there. And I think having no fans at the games has suited Jose and has suited Tottenham. There's, there's a little bit less pressure. Uh, and they can sort of just play the football that they've been told to play without having the fans, with the pressure of the fans on their backs. So going into this game, I am rather confident. Um, I think you've obviously got a lot of injury problems as well. We've got a fully fit squad bar Tongi and Dombele. Deli Ali is back fit. Uh, we all know what Deli Ali can do at Selhurst Park. Obviously that amazing volley back in 2016. So yeah, I think we can go and get the job done on Sunday. I suppose you could be said that Crystal Palace players are on their summer holidays, albeit with the injury crisis. Uh, I don't think it will be a walk in the park. I think you'll put up a, a fight. It's the last game of the season. You'll, they'll know the fans are watching at home. Uh, obviously, Andros Townsend is a former Spurs player. He always likes to perform well against us. And you've still got dangerous players, of course. Uh, Luka Milivojevic, Wilfred Zaha, um, Jordan Ayew. They're all great, great players. Um, uh, they're really good players and they can cause us problems. The Spurs aren't perfect, that's for sure. Um, we've won, we've won, I think, uh, four in a row now. We're certainly not perfect despite that. We still have a couple of defensive frailties. Although we've looked stronger, we have a mistake in us. Don't, don't get me wrong. Now I'm going to go 2-0 to Spurs. I think we'll, we'll just have a little bit too much for you on the day with your injury problems. And I think Kane and Son will just grab a goal. Uh, and we'll shut up shop. But looking forward to the game, looking forward to ending the season on a high, what's been a pretty terrible season for us. However, the, the future is bright, I think, at Tottenham and going into next season. Thank you very much for having me on and come on you Spurs.